Now, I must give a word of warning about uh, what I'm doing here. I'm flying okay with the CG around 75, but my Mini Talon is a minimum weight build. If you're adding bigger batteries and FPV gear, the weight is going to go up, and the CG I'm using will probably be too tail heavy, and the plane will be difficult to fly and may even tip stall and fall out of the sky. There's an enormous threat on RC groups, uh, and apparently the consensus is that 55 to 60 millimetres back from the leading edge is the correct place to have the CG with a uh, heavily loaded mini talon. So please don't do what I'm doing. I'm doing this so that you don't have to at home. And if you watch the video, you'll see the consequences of pushing the CG back too far. Manual said the CG should be at about 50 millimetres back from the leading edge, but I looked at that and I thought that just can't be right. 240 millimetre cord, 30% of that is about 72 millimetres. That's where I'd start uh, for the CG. Uh, a lot of people on RC groups have said the CG should be around 55 to 60 millimetres, so I'm going to experiment with it and see what feels better. I've just had a little bit of a fly. I'm right back at 80 millimetres at the moment, and it is a little bit squirrely, but it's still totally flyable. Um, I do have it quite lightweight. It's only 1150 grams or something like that. Maybe that makes all the difference. Lighter wing loading, uh, less stall characteristics. That'll be about 75, 76 millimetres. I've got a couple of marks there at the 80 millimetre mark. Okay, so the CG is a little bit further forward. Maybe 75 millimetres, I'd say that is. Yep, 75 millimetres we'll call that. It's just flying perfectly. Does not feel tail heavy at all to me. So I'm going to be brave and push the CG back a bit further. I'm going to go as far as 85 millimetres to make a difference. Long glide in. Long grass, so it grips it. Okay, moving the CG back now. CG is now back behind 80 millimetres, could even be 85 millimetres, we'll see how this goes. May go badly. It's going nose up. Yeah, it's, it's okay, it's tail heavy now, but not radically so. Oh, yes it is. Okay, that's radical. 85 is too far back. Uh, bring it in if I can. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, well, definitely CG too far back. So there you go, folks. CG too far back at 85. It's uh, Batteries come out through the nose, but I can tape that up and keep on flying. That's the beauty of this design with the motor right down the back. Ooh, that was ugly. All right, we're all back together again. Lost the wheel out of the front, but the wheel was never any use for me on this grass. Um, and I've pulled a little skeg out too, which is a bummer. CG's at 60 millimetres, so that's a fair bit further forward than I had it before. So as you would expect, that's going a little bit nose down at the moment. I'll trim it up. Still going nose down. So uh, yeah, that's flying nice and smooth, still going nose down, so to me that CG is too far forward. That's flying pretty level now, and I've got my elevator trim as far down as I can. But it's flying nicely. This is a beautiful flying plane anyway. Alright, I'll bring it in. Slide. 
slow down. Awesome. All right, we now have 3S3000 battery in there, Mobius on the nose, CG right uh, on 70. I have to give it more grunt to launch, of course, because it's only on 3S. Probably needs a bigger prop, but we'll give it a go anyway. Definitely less power. This is nice for slow cruising flying. Look at that, flying nicely. Hands off. Stall. So that's that was the stall there. Sort of wallowing around and dipped it a little bit, but just recovered straight away. Try that again. Elevator back, there's the stall, recover, spin, way. Alright, gotta be a bit careful. Try that again. Elevator. Motor off, elevator up, stall. This recovers really well. Well, it's nice and light anyway. Lovely. So my conclusion is I like the CG at about 70 millimeters. 65 is fine. Um, I suppose if you load it up a lot you're going to need uh, to fly it faster and maybe have a forward CD, CG. I'm doing a bit of a duration test. 500 milliamp hours in nine minutes. 4S3000. CG at 70, cruising around beautifully. Gonna glide past me. Into the nice soft grass. So a few people have uh, asked some questions in the comments. One of them was, was I seeing any adverse yaw? I didn't notice it the first time, but yeah, definitely there is a little bit of adverse yaw. Just uh, delays a bit or slips a bit in the turn and it's kind of understandable because it's such a short moment arm to the uh, vertical stabilizers. Something else someone pointed out, I can be a bit dumb sometimes. I did need to glue the wing on. It actually has clamp screws here that clamp onto the spar like most of the XUAV products. But I've got to say I'm super happy with this plane. It's a, it's a beauty. I really like it.